people only ask you about college your senior year. Every single adult you meet, every single other senior you meet, every everyone who you come into um, um, contact with, if you inform them th that you are a senior, they immediately assume, oh, where are you going? And I'm like, well, I don't know. Looking back on maybe freshman year compared to now, the schools that I thought I would want to go to or that I would want to apply to end up being very different from where I actually applied. When you see how hard your family's working just to put you through school and get you where you want to go, I mean, you do feel a certain need to make good on that. And so I know that for me, I was like, okay, well, I want to get into the best school I can so I can make my parents proud and make my family proud. Um, sometimes I feel like name value does play a role in like where you apply, it played a role like, in where I applied. I've noticed that reaction to news from schools differs based on what the perception of the good school is. Um, so I think that's something that got me down a little bit was looking at these people who got into schools with more cachet than the schools I did and have that be celebrated more. My parents, for the most part, want me to focus on what is going to make me happiest. Whether that's going to a state school or an Ivy League or anywhere in between, they did not care. What they wanted to make sure was that I had the most options and opportunities possible wherever it was that I um, was applying to. It's like my parents have been talking about college for like ever, ever since I was like got to talk today and that was in seventh grade. So, you know, have you been talking about this stuff for a while? They want the best for me and they want like me to have like an easy life. And part of that comes from like uh, stability and security, you know? Sometimes I talk to my parents about it, but like I think that a lot of the times they don't really understand the pressure that's coming from Hockaday and also just the pressure that sometimes I feel like we as a generation put on ourselves. There is some pressure from my parents. Um, maybe the types of schools that I applied to, there was some pressure from um, just like who I hang out with at school, my peers. Um, but I guess the, like the decision is ultimately mine. We're expected to go to all these like big name, like large institutions, well-known institutions. It puts a lot of pressure on you when you see yourself in the same grade as people who are going to places like Harvard, Stanford, Princeton, Yale, and I'm applying to all these schools in Texas. And that's what makes me happy and that's what I want to do and that's what's best for me. But at the same time, it's just an insane amount of pressure compared to other people. I think that it's important to like have high aspirations, but I think that like the pressure sometimes can be really unhealthy. I noticed that I felt like I was trying so hard to prove something and I didn't even know what and I didn't even know to who. I would say if there's anyone who's negatively influencing my college process, it's myself. Because like I said, there were so many times where I told myself I couldn't do it where I told myself, oh, there's no way you're going to get into the school or there's no way you're going to do well at the school even if you get in. I just think that, like, people who have, like, insecurities and, like, who are, like, whose self-confidence, like, who self -confidence, like, isn't super high, like, the college process doesn't really, like, help you with that, unfortunately. It's so hard. It's so hard not to compare yourself to other people in the college process, but I think that's the thing that you have to do to keep yourself sane. Emphasizing how incredibly important it is that you believe in yourself through this process. That doesn't mean being cocky. That doesn't mean going around telling everyone, oh, I'm going to get into this school and this is why. It means you yourself have to be your own best support system because if you give up on yourself during this process, it's not going to be fun. The week leading up, I remember like a bunch of my friends were just like, hey, like no matter what, like we love you. I appreciate that so much and like even though the answer wasn't what I wanted, I felt like I didn't feel like my worth was taken away from because it was a no. Like it's a little hard to for a college to reject you or even defer you and not take it personally. It made me angry because I don't do well with rejection. That's part of the reason I only applied to like schools I knew I would be accepted to. I don't know what I'm going to do if I don't get in. I was like, I don't know how I'm going to survive it. I don't know how I'm going to deal with myself if everything I want is just like, you know, taken away. You work so hard for four years and in two seconds it's over. You know, you read the words thank you and it's like, all right. Getting rejected is not fun. 
um, because you put your heart and soul, you put time, you put money into this application, you carefully curated this list because that's really where you want, and then for them to say, we looked at all that effort and still didn't want you, I mean, that's hard. You have to say, okay, what are we going to do next? You have to pick up and keep going. Your future really doesn't lie in the hands of a bunch of anonymous admissions people. When I look to the future now, I try not to think about where I'm going to be, what job I'm going to have, how much money I'm going to make. I try to tell myself, wherever I go, whatever I end up doing, as long as I'm happy and as long as I'm who I want to be, it doesn't matter if I'm where I want to be. I've just kind of gone to the point where no matter where I go, like it's just going to be the stepping stone to getting to where I want to go and who I want to be. I've got a head on my shoulders. I've got, you know, a dream in my heart. I don't need a fancy name or a pretty institution to verify that. You know, I think at the end of the day, college is like a big deal, but it is only the next four years of your life and people build it it up to as like their end goal for maybe their entire like 12 years of schooling or like just the high school four years but like you still have to remember to live your life in high school because college is not the be all end all of everything and the most important thing I think even for your college application process is just to like enjoy yourself and figure out who you are and what you want to be in the future.